Hello, Namaste everyone, Anuj Chhabra here. Every time whenever we start growing anything, we make a potting mix. Mostly we try to mix uh, coco peat, compost and soil in equal quantities. Yeah, uh, and a handful of neem cake. And yes, the soil is uh, comparatively good enough. It is porous, it is light, it is full of nutrition because compost has been added. And at the same time, neem cake has been added, which is, uh, you can say, take care of all the, uh, you can say the minor uh, infections, whatever is there in the soil. But today we are going to make a soil or we are going to improve the quality of our uh, potting mix by adding few things in that so that uh, till the time of harvest we don't have to keep giving every now and then some nutrition to the uh, potting mix uh, occasionally if something is given that's more than enough because uh, at different stages of our plant whatever is required which we have already uh, given it to our soil in the initial stage of potting mix only so first we'll try to understand what is the need of our plant at different stages so that all that we can be given it to our soil and as and when our plant requires that they can absorb it easily from the soil. So there are basically we can say it's 17 kind of nutrients which our plants needs at different uh, stages of its life cycle. So the main three basic in uh, you can say the uh, basic requirements of a plant is hydrogen, oxygen and carbon these three things we anyways we do not provide to our plant that our plant takes from the atmosphere itself apart from these three major basic components our plant needs macronutrients and micronutrients macronutrients are those nutrients which are uh, needed little lesser in quantity compared to the basic elements which was uh, carbon hydrogen and oxygen but still they are needed in a good amount okay so macronutrients are basically six first three npk as we all know is nitrogen phosphorus and potassium these three need after the basic uh, components these three are the main these are called the primary macronutrients okay after these three the other uh, whatever is remaining is the secondary macronutrients so those are your calcium magnesium and sulfur so these six becomes everything i'll write it in my description box so there won't be any confusions if you do not remember try to understand first the concept so the first is the basic component the second is macronutrients in which two parts are there that is npk and then these two uh, these three uh, which are the uh, secondary macronutrient okay after these our plant need uh, seven different kinds of micronutrients which are needed by the plant in a very minimal quantity but in the absence of those the plant cannot do uh, its fullest you can say might be the uh, flower drop will be there or the leaves are not uh, uh, you can say the bla leaf blades are not that uh, uh, proper little burning edges will be there or the root development will not be there or uh, fruit quality is not that good so though they are needed in a very minimal quantity still their presence is required so what all are those those are yours nickel manganese uh, copper zinc molybdenum so all boron all these are needed for uh, your plants in a very very minute quantity okay so today we are going to uh, make a soil mix in which all this in a little little quantity will be adding so that our soil is really rich in all these nutrients okay so first thing as i told you the co basic component which our plant need takes from the atmosphere so that will not give it to our soil so after we have now this was the basic potting mix what we prepare is your soil compost and coco peat equal quantity we have taken now in this what should be added so today i'll be talking about approximately suppose we are taking a 15 inches pot this is a 15 inch pot okay so in this much quantity how much these things whatever today i'm telling you to add so keeping that in mind if you are growing in a smaller container you can reduce the quantity if you are growing in a bigger container you can multiply depending on the 
size of your container okay so now the first thing is npk as i told you the nitrogen the nitrogen automatically it goes when we add the uh, compost in it but still if you want to add it is uh, composted cow dung you can take p is phosphorus which is really rich in banana this is banana peel i have dried it and powdered it so this is a very rich source of phosphorus and this is rock phosphate okay so first we'll talk about the ingredients so this was composted cow dung uh, dried banana peel powder and this is rock phosphate so this had become it is npk now we'll talk about the other three ingredients which the plant need in a secondary uh, macronutrient you can say so this is wood ash which is a good source of sulfur this is epsom salt which is a good source of magnesium this is uh, your uh, lime or chuna or chalk powder also you can use which is a good source of calcium okay now we'll come to these these are all the oil cakes right now i had three kinds of oil cakes whatever is available in your area wherever you stay that's more than fine so this is mustard cake this is groundnut cake this is neem oil cake so these are oil uh, these are basically the oil has been extracted from these seeds and these are the residue of those seeds basically used in animal fodder these are very much uh, you can say rich in micronutrients at the same time rich in protein and any problem related to your uh, plant uh, infection you can say or any minor fungal attack you can say all that is taken care by neem neem oil cake and at the same time they are very rich source of nitrogen too now what happens when we have prepared all the things now most of you are already growing the potting mix is already been prepared so not to worry so uh, you can add it little later also i have already made a video on how to make oil cake fertilizers so you can add it in that uh, that form also okay so all these things whatever i showed you each for a 15 inch pot one tablespoon of this size is enough of each of this material okay suppose this 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 three one each i'll take this i'll take each and these okay now whatever we have taken okay all that has to be taken one tablespoon each for a uh, pot of approximately 15 inches okay with that one more thing we have to add is your trichoderma trichoderma also one teaspoon uh, one tablespoon is more than enough why trichoderma trichoderma is a uh, you can say it's a beneficial fungus which takes care of all the uh, fungal growth in your uh, soil and it makes your soil more fertile okay now we have taken all these ingredients one tablespoon and our potting mix was ready with equal quantities of coco peat soil and compost compost is up to you whether vermi compost or whatever compost you use so now when we have mixed everything so what happens whenever we mix all these ingredients to our soil the immediately we, if we plant our uh, we sow our plant in this all these things are not readily available or immediately available to our plants they need time to get composted or you can say to convert themselves into such form so that my plant can have them so basically you can in a simpler manner i can say these are the raw materials uh, like uh, pulses rice we buy from the market and they are in that stage only in it will be there in the soil till someone will go there and cook it now who are the person who are going to do the cooking for my plant inside the soil okay so to convert these all whatever nutrients we are giving it to our soil for the benefit of our plant that we need a perfect chef or a perfect cook to convert them to an edible form and to give it to our plants at its different stages of our life like how our uh, in our house our cooks will be there the, the small kids are also there teenagers are there old age people are there so the chef of the house they know that yeah this person needs this quantity this person needs this food this is good for its health this person needs this old age people needs this so that way the that function in our soil it is done with the help of microbes 
so where does these microbes come from so the compost what we have added through that or once we have mixed everything all these ingredients plus whatever the three main ingredients we have mixed and we'll take jiva amrita and we'll just drench it nicely okay so the whole soil should be really wet now in this jiva amrita as you all know we have already added jaggery which is also a very good source of iron and at the same time fermented uh, the for the process of fermentation also jaggery is really good and jiva amrita it's a real good source of uh, millions of microbes okay so now when this has been added to our soil immediately we should not plant anything inside this let it sit for at least minimum 2 days if you have time 4 uh, to 5 days is good enough because whatever things we have given inside the soil they should gel really well there should be a very good handshaking you can say among each other so when i am shifting my plant in this uh, container with the soil mix which is really rich for its growth so it should feel comfortable because all these oil cakes and other things they have too much of heat in them so immediately if we uh, try to transplant a baby plant in this so they might have some side effects so let it cool down for a week or so and then it's an ideal environment for my plant to uh, get it shifted into this so now once i have shifted my plant in this after a week now as and when my plant is growing these all things are getting converted and they are uh, you can say they are uh, uh, converting themselves with the help of microbes in the edible forms to my plants so whenever it reaches its maturity stage the flowering stage that time it needs all that proteins phosphorus potassium so all that will be available to my plant because it takes almost a month to convert itself to the uh, available form to the plants so that much time my plant will uh, my soil will take my plant will take so ultimately gradually my plant is going to get everything at every stage what it needs okay so it it does not mean that once we prepare this we do not have to give anything additional to our plants but yes every now and then when we get worried that this is the problem why this is happening every 10 days every 5 days we have to give this so all that problem will be taken care of because a general uh, life cycle of a uh, vegetable if we talk about it's 3 3 and a half months so uh, this is the time one one uh, the sapling when we transfer it to our pot in a bigger pot approximately the sapling is uh, not less than 20 days you can say so another one and a half to two months is the time one and a half months the time for the maturity and the flowering and fruiting so till that time you can say once we transplant our plant into this next one and a half to two months not a single thing is required to be given to the plant and if we feel that also generally not required but yeah if we feel that yeah still more can be added some plants they need more of nutrition that time jiva amrita or uh, compost tea is there or we can say uh, uh, banana field fertilizer or bio enzyme we make that can be given liquid fertilizer more than enough any solid manures only in the form of compost is required and these oil cake fertilizers earlier also i have mentioned uh, i'll uh, attach the link also so whatever the soils you have prepared for the potting mix make sure once in two months at least uh, you can make the oil cake fertilizers and give it to all your plants because it's a rich source of all the micronutrients at the same time it will make your soil too much fertile because it has too much of nitrogen content in it which are microbes they really love to have it so more microbes means more healthy the soil and more healthy the soil means the plant is healthy and that's all we want that the, if the healthy plant is there the produce what we get it will be really healthy and it will be uh, the quantity will be good and the quality also will be good so whatever today we have discussed i'll put it in my description box so in case you have any doubts you can uh, go through there also thank you very much